Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wang. All right, I'm doing your weekly Sagittarian reading, tuning into the week's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through for you. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. All right, Sagittarius. In the past, we have the Queen of Cups. This is someone who's very loving, very sweet, nurturing, caring, very comfortable with emotions, very loving. I'm getting a very loving energy. It's interesting. I keep getting a repeat, sweet and loving, very sweet and loving. So it feels like someone in your past who you had a very <laughs> loving feelings towards. don't know if you heard Chuck, my dog's response to that okay it looks like this person overcame a lot of obstacles moved maybe moved on moved away uh this is someone who it's interesting that they're showing up like a warrior because they're sweet and gentle and all these like loving energies and it looks like they're like a peaceful warrior. They overcome obstacles. They're, they're moving towards something. They're moving away. They're moving on. Someone wants to communicate, has messages about the Queen of Cups or this one has a lot to say in the past. It looks like that's interesting. Someone had a lot to say about this person. Feels like they're they're telling you about this person. It feels like you there's some something a lack of a lack of taking action a lack of movement um, being afraid that's so interesting here's this loving energy and it moves on but someone comes to you saying something about I feel like the Queen of Cups. They've got a lot to say. And whatever they say, it like, um, you receive it in a way that, I feel like it shifts your perspective on the Queen of Cups. Energy makes you scared or worried or maybe you misconstrued maybe your beliefs were incorrect there's some kind of fear that this elicited and it feels like you um just pulled back your energy it feels definitely around fear so all right in present energy, Sagittarius, we have the Four of Cups. Someone is giving you a love offer. Someone, someone loves you, but it, you're not interested. Someone's wanting to get your attention, but, but you're just. You're not interested in what they have. Something has happened recently where you have 
a lot more courage. I think that's what I was trying, I couldn't figure out what it was. There was some type of lack of courage or faith or uh, in the past that controlled your lack of action. There was like um, not having the courage of your convictions kind of feeling and but not in present energy it looks like you're really being able to like you you have some inner strength i'm just it's you've grown on the inside and you have less fears governing you and also, I feel like um, some clarity. There's something about not being ruled by your fears any longer that's causing you to be more confident. And I feel like there's, in the past, you lacked some confidence uh, and quite possibly what others say really affected you more than now it feels like you're you have a little bit more agency um seniority in your crown chakra deciding you don't just match and mirror at your surroundings and the people around you you can hold your own energy There's someone, yeah, there's someone who's, feels like they're giving you the cold shoulder, they're icing you out, maybe you feel like you're being cut off from this person, they're, it feels like a breakup, or they're icy and cold about the connection, it feels like someone you're connected with. It, it does feel like things are falling, coming apart. Uh, that I'm being shown by the guides today that things fall apart. It kind of sounds like a, something's wrong picture, but I'm getting that sometimes it's time for things to come apart. And when you're no longer feeling that loving feeling, that's what it is. You've lost that loving feeling. Maybe everybody in this connection, because that four of cups, I'm just, I just, it doesn't mean that the person you're with is bad or wrong or a monster. It's just, it, it feels like something has run its course and you finally have the strength to look at what you really want, who you really are. Someone's not happy though. It feels like someone's cut you off or um, giving you the cold shoulder. What else do we need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, there we go. All right, so you've got a breakup. It feels like your a relationship is ending. And you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about that Queen of Cups energy, that sweet, loving energy. There's something... Um, feels like you've loved this person for a long time. There's history there. Um, wow. Uh, there's love and passion. It feels like you have equal parts loving feelings for this person and uh, your body. <laughs> your sexual desires are like yep we can back that up so it's it's both loving and something very attractive it's like you really want you want to reconnect with that loving feeling what's with that song huh and 
and get it on. <laughs> Looks like you're ready to, it's, I want to make an offer. I think this is something I can build with. This is someone I can build with. Wow. You, you feel that this Queen of Cups can help bring balance. That there's something... There's something destined about this. And you want to move to calmer waters. You... There's also, you want to set something straight. There's like, you have something to say to this person that'll help bring justice. Something, you've got a tangent, you want to make a tangible offer. You've got something to say to this person to help move them to calmer waters. It feels like you, there's a lot of, um love and passion wow all right sagittarius didn't know this was uh this week's reading feels like love reading so i'll put that in the title so your higher self this is messages from your higher self is the four of swords in reverse there's some mindset that you're healing I'm getting that you're really thinking about someone. You've been thinking about someone for a long time. Gosh. Okay, I'm you're there's a, a singular mindset in this reading. You're thinking about someone for a long time. I'm tired of thinking about it. It feels like I, I'm I'm tired of just thinking about, that's what that is. I'm tired of just thinking about this. I want to come out from being in the cold. I think we could have a lot of fun together. This is someone you really want to create a lot of memories with, have fun, go out. And then there's this betrayal energy. It feels like in the past. some type of painful cycle. It feels like you've you've watched whoever this is being betrayed, getting hurt time and time again. Um I think you're surprised how they keep getting up. And it feels like you want to communicate about some painful betrayal that this person had in the past. There's also some kind of guilt or remorse that's coming through. You want to get out of uh, a, a mind. It feels like you're seeing something clearly now about there was some trap. In the past, someone came to you and said a lot, had a lot to say about this Queen of Cups. And in present energy messages from your higher self, there's um you're seeing things from a different point of view you're seeing things more clearly about some betrayal in the past wow this seems so specific if this reading is resonating hit that like button let me know that i'm on the right track let me know all right uh, your challenge this week, Sagittarius, is the Three of Pentacles. Coming together, working with others, having different skill levels. Wow. Oh, okay. Your challenge is to it's pentacles it's 3d it's not thinking about this it's not fantasizing about this your challenge is actually making this happen in the 3d making it work 
creating, there is an opportunity here. It, there's a divine opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. Um, to start something, but there's a challenge. Feels like you you believe this would work, but there's something stopping you from from making this happen. Why is it a challenge with all these feelings? I'm curious why it's a challenge to make it happen in the 3D, to get it out of, like to actually make this materialize in the 3D, I'm curious. Uh, what's hidden is the 10 of cups in reverse. This is like an end of a, a cycle of being very, uh, a lack of soul fulfillment. This is a, Nine of Cups, it, to me, reads as personal, personal development, personal fulfillment, personal soul fulfillment. Jeez. And then you add someone else's cup of love and you get the Ten of Cups. So it's a group or a collective, a family, uh, a connection, lovers some type of plus one to get to the ten of cups so what what's hidden is a lack of soul fulfillment in a connection okay what do we need to know what does Sagittarius need to know Jeez. It feels like uh, what's been hidden is in connections. Uh, you, this feels like both your energy and the Queen of Cups energy. Um, you guys are both have this uh, lack of soul fulfillment in connections, being in relationship. They're actually, it looks like you both feel that you're um connections have been a nightmare or a connection was a nightmare there was a lack of love there a lack of soul fulfillment okay i feel like you've hidden this now i'm tuning in it's both of your energies but i'll say it from your vo point of view it looks mm -hmm. like you have manage to keep this hidden this truth about this lack of soul fulfillment in a connection and that you've been like living in a nightmare <clears throat> you hide it really well maybe by mm -hmm. drinking and um just kind of dissociating just like you know this is what it is i also get like a playful energy Like there's, it's been hard to mature in this connection. This connection hasn't matured or grown with the people. There's codependency, <clears throat> dependency. Looks like you're trying to get out of that trauma bonding. Maybe this is a trauma bond. <clears throat> there's a... My throat chakras. <clears throat> I feel like this is very hard for you to talk about. Like you, that's why it's hidden. I don't want to hear this. It's kind of what I'm getting. Like this is really, you're aware of this, but it's, it's a part of, it's a truth that you keep hidden away from yourself because you feel like you, you've you got to be in this connection. Um, you're not wanting any more drama. You're not wanting to fight. I'm, t I'm tired of fighting. 
I'm exhausted by this. There's a lack of passion. Like, uh, we're not even fighting anymore. Oh, boy. Yeah, um, someone's a bully. Someone's... Maybe you both uh, in, are staying in a connection past its expiration date, and you're both... Uh, instead of loving and caring for each other, there's either one or both of you are just just cruel and mean to each other instead of getting out of the connection. Feels like someone's making uh, like wants a power play wants to control the situation, wants to win at any cost. And this is just, I heard fucking exhausting. And maybe even like um, ghosting each other, withholding communication. There's a lot of pain here that I feel like nobody's really addressing. That's why it's hidden. No one's talking about this. All right, your opportunity this week, Sagittarius, is the Knight of Wands. This is someone who's, uh, I've got an idea, I've got, I'm inspired, I can, I feel this passion, this desire, and I'm going after it. I know that when I have this um, fire in my belly, I... I take action on it and I'm often successful because I've there's some kind of intuitive and action and fiery action all right looks like you're really feeling more like yourself being in that Knight of Wands energy being um, I'm gonna go after what I want I feel a little naive about this. I feel a little worried because I don't know if my truth will be accepted. Uh, I want to I want to figure out if they're available. Um, I'm going to ask around. I want to be honest and communicate that I'm in an unsatisfying connection another ten of cups in reverse I want to release these burdens I'm worried that that I won't be accepted I'm worried that I'll say this truth feels like you're talking yourself out of this action like, I've got this, I'm going to take action, I'm going to say what I want to say, I'm going to let them know that I'm in an unhappy connection, I'm going to release these burdens, and I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to be rejected, and that would just be devastating, and I don't feel like I can, can see, it feels like you're talking yourself out of... And, but you're just so unhappy with whoever your partner is. There's some type of, um, it kind of feels like a trauma bond. Like we've just been together for so long and we're kind of mean to each other and we're not really enjoying life, but we feel like this is what we have to do. And maybe some financial instability around a breakup would create financial hardships, something like that. All right, Sagittarius, your possible outcome is the Ace of Swords. So you've got new energy coming in. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So new energy, oftentimes it's what we've asked for, but it feels different because it is different. It's new. It has that new energy smell. <laughs> and everything 
So it feels a little bizarre. This, this though, this is like a, a new, a new way of seeing things, like an epiphany, light bulb moments. So I literally see these. I, I totally get the light bulb over the head is such a accurate description of what's going on psychically when you get that epiphany inspiration light bulb moment because that light literally hits your crown chakra and you open up you go yes and then that energy as you still connect into it and explore it if you don't just like go no i can't have like let the energy fill your crown chakra for like 20 seconds and then as you continue that will tune in to the, the rest of your chakra system into that new energy that new idea there's something about not batting it away it feels like that's what you're doing you kind of psych yourself out There's something that's really dampened your fire. You're not trusting that that fire anymore. There's something about like, I'm getting like too much air. All right. So possible outcome, you have this new epiphany, this new idea, this new way of seeing things. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing it so clearly now. This is so obvious to me what I should do. And it's like, you don't want to waste any more time. You, because you're there's this lack of soul fulfillment that you have where you're at. What do we need to know about the possible outcome for Sagittarius? Again, here, this new idea comes in and then it feels like you, you squash it. There's, it feels like um, you're not ready to take action on this. There's something, it feels like you're talking yourself out of it or someone around you is. It feels like also, um, not being, I don't know. Oh, there's also this component of not wanting to show up so blue, so sad, so unfulfilled. You're worried that you might get attached to this person and dependent on them or they're dependent on you. There's some type of attachment that you're concerned about. And or there might be some financial issues that you're going through. It looks like this week you're trying to decide about your partnership. Yeah. Queen of Cups or stay it's stay or go um there's some worry about attachment though or feeling insecure unstable someone maybe this is your who you're with is very clingy or needs you for finances or stability There's another message, a possible way to interpret this is that you you communicate these, uh, you have this epiphany, you know what you want, 
and you're ready to take action on it and you communicate to your partner about being the lack of soul fulfillment that you have, which makes them feel very needy and attached. So you have to make a, a decision and it, it feels, yeah. So it's your decision, you get to choose. Um, Hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, if you're still watching, hit that like button for me and um, hit, a, uh, hit me up with a comment. Let me know that you enjoyed this. If you don't know what to say, uh, an emoji works just fine. So, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Where is it? It's like over here, I think. Hit that subscribe button so you get more of these readings in your feed. I do the weekly Zodiac readings. I do a daily collective reading. Whoever's watching, I tune into that collective energy and give um, guidance. And on the weekends, those uh, daily readings for everyone are business and finance and love reading. So, all right. Take care, Sagittarius. Bye.